Hi guys, how are you all doing today? So I just want to give you like a little update of what I've been up to this past few weeks in terms of sewing. So I've got two things to talk about. So I have the ham and sausage challenge that you might have heard about. And I have this cute little pinafore dress that I've literally just finished. So I've added the little buckles, some side fastenings as well. And it looks so cute. So I want to talk about first the ham and sausage challenge. So I sort of came up with this challenge because I wanted the sewing community to come together and take part in like this big mutual project where they could create something that would be useful to them in the long term. And for those of you who don't know what ham and sausage are, well let me show you. So here I have my ham and here I have my sausage. And these two are pressing aids. So you basically use them to press curved seams. As you can see, it's quite rounded, so obviously you put your seam on it and then you get your iron and you press it on top of it. So that's what it's basically used for. And this is actually one of the most useful things for me as a bra maker. I don't regret making it. And I thought, you know what, it would be really cool if other people could get involved and make this because it really is useful. So yeah, that's why I started the challenge. And if you want to get involved, I'll put all the information down below in the description. So just have a look. And yeah, get involved. It'll be really fun, guys. I'm sure you'll definitely enjoy it. So, um... Last week I started making this cute little pinafore dress with a little circle skirt and um, unfortunately I sort of got off to a bad start because the fabric I wanted to use was a bit too small so I had to find like another fabric to use and the fabric I wanted to use I actually have it right here. So this is the fabric. So it's this sort of houndstooth um, woolly sort of fabric and I just would have loved it as a little pinafore and unfortunately I couldn't buy more fabric so I just had to sort of find what I had at home and work with it. I found this green fabric. And you know what, it's not too bad, like, once you've worn it, it's absolutely cute, like, I love it so much. The tutorial for this is actually coming out soon, and this tutorial will be for beginners, so for those of you who are just starting out um, with pattern making, this tutorial is specifically for you, because it's just so simple, so straightforward, and um, at the end of it, you do get this cute little pinafore dress. So, um, in terms of making this, it wasn't too difficult, and I'm actually quite proud of myself, because the stitching's quite neat, like, everything's just pretty neat, and, um... I'm really happy with the, the quality, the way that it was put together. I mean, I even added a little um, side opening so that I could actually get into the skirt. So I have two little snap fasteners here that obviously come together. And I have that on both sides, so I have one on this side as well. And then I have my um, dungaree buckles that I ordered online. And these do the job, so I'm quite happy with these. It was a really um, fun project. It wasn't anything too strenuous. I can't really say much about it except for that it went well and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So yeah that's all I really have to say guys. Just a little progress update just to let you know what's going on with me and to let you know that the tutorial will be coming out very very soon guys. So don't forget to subscribe so that you know when it's out and then you can follow me to create this. And also don't forget about the ham and sausage challenge. Ham and sausage! So you definitely get involved and if you do, um, you can find me on social media, tag me in your pictures, let me see what you've done. I'm, I'm really, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. So guys, I'll see you all next time. Look after yourselves and take care. Bye bye.